All the technique in the world does not compensate for the inability to notice. This was a quote from Elliot Erwitt, a famous Magnum photographer known for his classic street photographs. Those photos often have some humor in them. Elliot Erwitt just passed away at the age of 95. Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. I like that quote because it reminds us of the main point in photography. Photography is about noticing, observing your surroundings. If we lose the ability to notice, we lose our ability to photograph. This applies to any genre of photography. To me, photography is an art of observation. It's about finding something interesting in an ordinary place. We often walk around doing our everyday chores, going to work and taking the kids to kindergarten or school. We very seldom see anything in our familiar surroundings. The places we visit are too familiar to us so that we have lost the ability to notice what's around us. What if you take your camera on your free time and go to those same familiar places to observe? Take the time to notice things what's around you. Make notes in your mind about the things that happen. Look around and see what objects there are. After observing, take your camera out and make those images that you wrote down in your mind or piece of paper or on your phone or whatever. But take notes what you see. At first you might not get the images you want, but you will get some nice images after a while. And another quote from Elliot Erwitt. Photography is an art of observation. It has little to do with the things you see and everything to do with the way you see them. Remember that the way you see things is unique. No other person sees those things the same way you see them. This also means that no one photographs them the same way you do. Your photographs are unique. Your photographs might not be good every time you click the shutter. It does not matter. If we look at Elliot Erwitt's gallery on his webpage, he photographed from 1948 all the way up to the 1970s when he started making films. And he does not have that many images in his galleries on his website. He only shows the best ones. I bet there are hundreds of thousands of images that he does not want to show because they didn't pass his criteria for being that good that they should be uh, displayed or exhibited in his on, uh, on his website, on his web galleries. Good photography is not about zone printing or any other Ansel Adams nonsense. It is about seeing. You either see or you don't see. The rest is academic. Photography is simply a function of noticing things, nothing more. I do not think that Elliot Erwitt did not appreciate Ansel Adams' work. He most likely meant that we need to concentrate on seeing and not worrying about the technical things and the gear. What is the point of making perfect print if no story exists in the photograph? I think that's what he meant. And this is kind of an interesting um, approach to Ansel Adams' works and because many others have also criticized. For example, André Cartier-Bresson says that the world is in turmoil and you're photographing rocks. So no, not all appreciated everything that Ansel Adams did. Concentrate on noticing. After watching this video, look out the window or look around wherever you are and start noticing photographs. Make notes in your mind and if you have a camera with you, make those images. Use your phone if that's the closest camera that you have. Look at those images, think what you could have done better if those images were not pleasing. And maybe you did get some pleasing images. Please tell us in the comments down below how it goes or how it went. Doing this type of exercise is very easy. Look around and notice photographs when you're waiting for someone or standing in line in the supermarket or wherever you are. There are everywhere photographs to be captured. And doing exercises. I use an exercise where I go to a place and choose a random direction and time to walk. And when I'm there, after the amount of time that I randomly picked for walking, I will take four photographs it's a very good way of starting to notice and seeing things in a place where you think that there are no photographs. And if you go to a place that's not, you don't know where you're going to be stopping, so you don't have the time to pre-visualize. If you want to make it even harder, pick a random time, how long you will take those, or, or how long do you have time to take those four photographs. That will make your eyes alert, or your mind alert, rather. I do have a video about when I did one of those exercises, which is called the Minkinen Method. And the video is over there. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.